Hello, Chaz here, and I'm playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. This is the new version, version 0.B, the Brin update. And I am very pleased with this. I've been playing some of the experimentals, uh, and it's really good. I'm having some trouble surviving past the first day, so this may be a one-shot video until I get the hang of it. But we'll see how it goes, and maybe I can just make life easier for myself. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> so, let me just delete my current world. That's Udney Green. I'm going to create a new world. Uh, I'm going to include the Slow Zombies mod to make life a little bit easier for myself. Uh, spawn rate scaling factor 0 0.5. Maybe I should tune that down a little bit. 0 0.3. See if that makes it a little bit easier for me to survive. <laughs> Confirm. World name, I'm going to call this one Longside. I know, it sounded nice to me. It's actually, there's a town in Aberdeenshire called Longside. Which, uh, I kind of want to visit because it has the, yeah, it contains the grave of the Laird of Udney's Field, which is a, who, yeah, they're a rather legendary character in Doric culture, as it were. I'm rambling about Scottish stuff that people may not even understand, but there you go. So, new game. I have a preset character already. It's Chasmoth, like always. Um, instead of taking the uh, custom profession that I usually take, which is Unprepared Survivor, who has the cargo pants, hoodie, and a pair of flip-flops, I have instead opted to go for the default survivor, and there's a good reason for this, which you should find out fairly soon. Uh, I gave myself the usual 24 points. Maybe I should give myself more points just to, you know. Oh yeah. Also, there's scenarios now, so you can like, you can go for a challenge scenario where you're having a really bad day, which is you start drunk to the point of incapacitation, depressed, infected, surrounded by fire, naked, and sick with the flu. This day went downhill really fast. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go for that. But there are, there are some really cool ones, like Mist, which is where you're in the middle of town because you just missed the evacuation. But I'm sticking with plain old evacuee and survivor. I'm going to reconfigure my skills, I think. I had, like, a bunch of points in computers and construction. And I don't think that's going to help me much. I'm going to put another point into melee. And another point into hmm, bashing weapons. And this should help, hopefully. So that's me, Chaz. So I'm going to be using a custom tile set. It's actually still a work in progress, but it's a really, really cool tile set. It's called Brown Lake Bears, and it's made by Stop Signal. And it is based on Anti Star's Retro Days 20 tile set, uh, which is a new 20 by 20 tile set that's based on uh, his previous Retro Days tile set. I'm sorry, I'm sort of stumbling over my words, even though it's not even that late or early that, at the time I'm recording this, but you know. Um, but yeah, Stop Signal decided that he would take um, Retro Days with Anti-Star's permission and like give it more detailed graphics using the additional space that you can use. So that's why we now have a new tile set, which is looking good so far. Still has some of the slightly less detailed things, like you can see the stairs down there are actually still from uh, Retro Days. But these will all be fixed in due course. You may also have noticed that I actually have a custom sprite. Um, Stop Signal was actually really kind enough to give me a custom sprite that I could put onto the tile set, which makes me look like Chesmoth. <laughs> and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So I have to thank Stop Signal for that. I customized it a little bit just to, uh, you know, just to get the colors right, like the hair and the hoodie and the jeans. But other than that, this was all stop signals work. 
and I'm indebted to him for that. So yeah, there's a, a lot different in this version of the game. For one, uh, lockers contain emergency jackets and folded emergency blankets, so I'm going to take those, and there's a very good reason for that. I'm going to go ahead and raid the basement, see if there's anything useful in here. Uh, tin can of chicken noodle soup, hell yes. Uh, heat pack. Is that it? Well, not much in there, but at least I got some food. I'm gonna check my map. Ooh, good. There is a small town up here, consisting of a house, a hardware store, a pizza parlor, uh, and a couple of houses. Yep. So I think that's gonna be my first stop. I also see over here there are some M's, military outposts. I'm gonna to want to stay away from those because the turrets are probably gonna straight up murder me. So. First big surprise, spring has changed. You may remember in my previous videos that spring was actually fairly warm, and that if I wore too many clothes I would actually overheat. Now it's the opposite. Um, spring is hella cold, which considering the game is set in a fictional version of New England, is a bit more accurate I believe. I, I'm, I'm just going by what I've heard from friends who live in New England but apparently it's cold as balls in the spring so there you go <laughs> ooh a battery laying on the side of the road oops wrong button uh... truck battery a large 12 volt lead acid battery used to power truck electrical systems Okay. i would take it but i would be like completely burdening myself right now <laughs> which is not what i want oh i forgot i forgot to do a thing hang on a sec Fleeing back to the shelter. I'm glad I didn't run anything, anything back there. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and smash this locker. There we go. Go grab a pipe. Can't believe I nearly forgot this. Uh, I'm going to wield the pipe. I was gonna make it into a makeshift crowbar, but I think I'm just gonna keep it as a pipe for now. Actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna make it into a makeshift sure crowbar. Uh, there's no room in here. Oh, okay. I'll grab it, and I'm automatically wielding it. Sweet. Oops. I would pick up that rock, but again, I don't have enough uh, room in my clothing to keep it. That's why I made the unprepared survivor class. Uh, I have less room, or sorry, no, I have less stuff. I don't have like the pocket knife or the matchbook, but I would get roomy clothing, like the hoodie and the cargo pants. So I'd be able to like carry a little bit more stuff at the start of the game. Okay, so far so good. Even though my guy is chilly, let me check his uh, warmth right now. Ah, his hands are chilly. The rest of him is okay. His head and his hands are chilly. Uh, his legs are also a fairly bit chilly right now, going by the warmth. His feet are perfectly warm, which is why I didn't go for Unprepared Survivor. Oh, what's this? Oh, a pipe over here. <laughs> I could have just taken this. Whoops. Whoop. There you go. But I have a makeshift crowbar now, so... Okay, and it's warning me that my hands will be frost-nipped in the next few hours. Just check my stance again. Yeah, I'm thinking about my hand yet, but ah, here we go. The zombie safe mode is on. Let me take a look. Uh, there's a raccoon. It's still the um, yeah, it's still the what's it called? Retro days raccoon right now. But eventually, even they will be upgraded. Let's see, where's the zombie? I want to find the zombies. It says it's to the north of me. I'm just gonna ignore the monster and travel north a little bit. Northeast. Let's take a peek up this way. Ah, there he is. Look at him. <laughs> this is this is uh, stop signals work right here. This really toony looking zombie. This is why I like this tile set. Like it, every everything's sort of like made to look really toony and goofy and happy. 
not really toony and goofy and happy, but still, quite toony. And this amuses me. Okay, I'm gonna turn off safe mode. It, it keeps bugging me. I know I should keep safe mode on, but when it like stops me while I'm trying to get somewhere, it gets a little bit annoying. Okay, so zombie, come over here. Bamp, bamp. Ooh, critical. Oh, and he's bitten my torso. But he's dead now. And splat. So that's my usual uh, with dealing with these. Tattered jeans, torn hoodie, pulp zombie corpse. Yeah, you want to pulp corpses when you can, just to make sure you don't, like... Yeah. <laughs> it can be bad when you have zombies just, like, revive. Okay, so I'm going to use my makeshift crowbar. Wait, no, I don't want to... <laughs> okay, that's new. Um, let me just, uh... You attempt to pry open your wallet, but alas, you're just too miserly. <laughs> Which, considering all the jokes about Scottish people being tight-fisted, that kind of makes me amused and angry at the same time. I'm angry. There we go. I'm angry. I'm angry! Okay. Sorry, got off on a tangent there. Uh, let's see. If I can... There we go. Pry open the door. Makes a little bit of noise, but it's a bit quieter than smashing glass. Alright, so let's take a look and see what's in here. Samurai novel, pair of rubber boots, sewing kit. Ooh, sewing kit would be handy. Nail gun, flashlight, cordless drill. Cordless drill would be fun for, like, killing stuff, but eh. Uh, ho, long rope, steel frame, soap bar, long string, gallon jug of ammonia, wood saw, jumper cable, that might be handy. Jack's hammer. <laughs> uh oh. I remember hearing about this. The, this is the. Oh, wait. I'm not allowed to talk about Jack, Jack Hammer. <laughs> this is one of the Easter eggs, I believe. Um. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that this playthrough. I got lucky. Okay, no matter what happens in this video, if I live or I die, I'm uploading this. Just as a testament to the Jacques Hammer. I probably... Oh, that's the volume of 20. Yeah, I'm not picking that up. I am going to make a note of it on my map, though. If I can. Uh, Jacques Hammer. Hammer. There we go. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is just the back of the store. What's this? It's a recycler. Drop some metal items onto it and examine it again. Ooh. So you can use these recyclers to um, recycle metal, which I guess is going to be really useful if you decide to build stuff. And I kind of want to build stuff this time around, if I can. Depends on how long I live. But this tiny town seems to be fairly empty. So I may be safe in here. Ooh, this is a pizza parlor. Somebody is... Okay. Um, somebody on the forums. I can't remember the name. I'm going to have to go look them up. I'll, I'll mention them in the... Oops. I'll mention them in the... Uh, in the comments below. But they're working on a mod to have like um, animatronics join the apocalypse and by that we're talking like Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics <laughs> when I read that I'm just like no I don't want this okay um, ooh somebody has crashed their car into the side of this pizza parlor <laughs> that ain't nice that's rude okay what's back here ooh things there's a stash back here. <laughs> Cannabis, Playboy, purse, cocaine, water, plastic cup, cardboard box of sugar, cardboard box of flour, corn meals, Italian seasoning, maybe just to... Oh, wait. Oh, that's all that over there. Bottle of Imperial Stout. Very flavorful beer that has been aged in bourbon barrels. It's as black as midnight on a moonless night and has the viscosity of oil. Well, very tasty. It also has an alcohol content on the level with wine. Hmm. I'm gonna grab some of this weed. 
Maybe the Playboy as well. No, the Playboy's got volume. I can't pick it up. I can pick up cocaine. Ooh, purse. Um, if I... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna put on the purse. Whatever, it's storage. I can carry stuff now. <laughs> I don't care if it's a purse. Oh, there's more cannabis. Take him the weed with me. Oh, alright, this is water. No, no, no. I don't want to drink the water. It's filthy toilet water. Actually, it should be potable, but it's best if you boil that kind of water first. Okay, so what's this anyway? Oh, there's a flatbed truck. Smashing it to the side of the pizza parlor. Amazing. Okay, let's see. Take a peek in this house over here. Apply. Crowbar. Yay, got it first time. Close the door behind me. Uh, low top tennis shoes and a cell phone. I'm going to grab the cell phone. And now I can tell what time it is in actual time up here. I'm pointing out with my mouse. Rather than having to go by the daylight. So that's good. Um, there's also a wristwatch over here, which I could also use. A uh, pair of eyeglasses, pair of rollerblades. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. A pair of inline skates. Very fast on flat floors, but they make it hard to move on rough terrain or to dodge effectively. I could become a rollerblader moth. I'm not gonna, but I could. The game has given me this potential. Ooh, this place has a downstairs. I'm gonna have to look down there in just a bit. Last bottle of vodka. Okay, I'm gonna take a peek down here. Oh, sewer rats. Great. Come on. Let me hit the rat. Hey, there we go. Smash the corpse. Oh god, there's blood everywhere. This can't be a sewer though, can it? No, it's just a very big basement. Uh, pillow, blanket, woo, stuff here. 101 wrestling moves, UPS, a unified power supply. Ooh, uh, designed to power armor and some guns. Let's see, mess kit. Ooh. I'm gonna take the mess kit, I think. It's gonna be handy for cooking stuff. 2.5 liter canteen, hell yes. Oh god, I'm almost out of capacity, so I better pick my next stuff carefully. Ooh, there's so much food down here. I think I'm going to make this my base. Just a hunch, I'm going to make this my base probably. Ooh, a flare gun, could be handy. Uh, ooh, there's guns of all kinds down here. <gasps> Tin of condensed milk, yes! Baby cow food, appropriated for adult humans. Having been canned, this milk should last for a very long time. Okay, so that's food. There's plenty of food there. And that looks like it's the only shelf down here, so... Hmm. Okay, I'm grabbing the sewer ant corpse and I'm taking it out. Because I don't want a corpse just to, like, fucking rot in my base. So, let me just drop... Let me pull the sewer rat corpse out here. If I could, I would clean up the blood in there as well, but I don't know if I can. Speaking of cans, oop, there's a glass jar of honey. Can of pickled herring. Potato chips. Can tomato. Ooh, scissors. And some bandage. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be my base, I think. Let me just, uh,. Make a note of this. Shaz's base. And the weather has become sunny again, so now that it's 10 in the morning. Uh, it's sunny, there's no more flurries. Although, while I'm in the house, it's still actually quite cold. I guess there's supposed to be some way for me to heat up the house. I'm gonna have to check the forums. But for now, I think that's the end of this episode. It looks like this is gonna be a series after all. So I thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.